we're back in the woods and it's not Maine. Winter's almost over, I've had enough of this. It's been more mud season than ice fishing and I thought, let's go to Florida. Palm trees, warm weather. I'm wearing a t-shirt, everybody at home still wearing sweaters and jackets and I think I found my campsite. Look at this, got a stream. There may be some tilapia here in here. Got my backpack, my magic backpack full of all that I need. I got even got some gator for tonight because I've already been on some adventures. So let's uh, set up camp. I'm Zachary Fowler and this is my three days in Florida adventure. What can we get up to in the backwoods or Midland backwoods or whatever you call it of Florida when it's warm, there's gators, there's boar. I got my slingshot and sling rifle that I'm gonna tune up to uh, shoot some fish. And we got three days to do three fun adventures. And this place is just so epic. I wonder that I couldn't come back Maybe this is just a scouting mission. You know, we're making three fun little things just so I get a feel for the area. Maybe I should do a 30 day survival challenge here. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. I am so excited. Let's, uh, let's build a camp though. It's getting my bushcraft, my bushcraft ideas are going like, like never before. We've been doing all this glampery campery stuff and all this uh, like uh, power packs and, and solar panels and, and uh, electric this is and, and all that. And, and now I'm out here in the bush again, in the woods, the you know, trees and vines and materials for starting fires and, and the vines right there for lashing a table together. And, and uh, I think I got to build something and build a camp. I think if I lived here, I'd just build a fortress in the trees that went from tree to tree and I didn't even have to touch the ground. It's amazing. So we'll build the camp and then we'll be ready to catch and cook all the uniqueness of Florida right here in the woods. sunshade. I've never used these palms before for anything, but I've seen people weave them in all kinds of things, so maybe I can weave it into make myself a little hat. I don't know if I get that much time to be industrious for that kind of industrious. You've got these handy dandy little hangers on the trees to hang your stuff. Like, boom. <laughs> This is so cool. I ah, couldn't ask for a more quickly prepared, perfect camping site. I mean, I wouldn't even necessarily need a sleeping mat. This is like soft, sandy soil, a little bit of leaf debris and stuff on top. Bop my. I brought my slightly bigger crew of tent here. I want a little bit more room for once I get the rest of my gear out. And I have an insulated layer for this. And if it does get really hot, then I got a plan for that too. Oh, wow, that's big. This is a little, I brought this one because I'm doing a thing in Georgia after and Noah's coming and I thought, oh, okay, I'll just bring the one tent and I'll live with it being a little big for this adventure today and for the next three days. <laughs> There's too much room. What am I gonna do with all that room? I got the camera bag. Not all that. This thing is huge. This is so spacious. Wow, okay. Nice little vestibule area so I could take off my shoes and keep them dry. Even if it was to rain, I like that. 
and nice big bed space ventilations all through it I am a little spoiled but it's gonna get late so enough of this can't be laying around gotta make dinner make a cooking area where to make a kitchen Like it's a piece of maple, so I don't make good firewood. I'm gonna have to go look for some resources. Crepes around. Find the game trails through here. Oh, that looks like boar right there. Perfect. Uh, Backwoods hot tub all ready to go. The pigs already wallowed it out for me. Just come back in here and throw some warm rocks in there and I got a uh, hot tub out in the backwood. Have a little warm wallow for myself. Look at that. Oh, what is that stuff called? A little weed on the top. It's just covering it. I don't know how deep all that is in there but I can see tracks going in, tracks coming out. And... Oh, there's some more wallows. Right in there. Oh man, they really do. That must be the, like the general size of each of these. That's like five foot, five foot, couple of them maybe in the same spot. Making some pits to wallow in. I wonder if I'll hear them down here in the night, like mucking around. Oh, skull, deer of some sort. Antlerless. Oh, some nice firewood. Nice hard firewood. Looks like we might be eating on the ground. I'll build something tomorrow. I gotta get a fire going. I might not have let on that uh, I brought more of the glamping magic than I usually do <laughs> at the beginning. I didn't know I was going to be in such a beautiful place for something like this to camp out. I'm at Seminole Prairie Safari, uh, so you can check them out. Links in the description below. I thought I was doing like a couple guided hunts, and uh, I said I wanted to camp out, and they showed me their back 40, and that's where we are now, and I was like, oh. This is amazing. This is beautiful. I, I want to like uh, buy property here down in Florida or something. I'm so already like this is wow. I feel like it's the same way I say that about everything. Like I'm in Hawaii and I'm like, this is great. I want to buy a place here and I do, but it's Flor Hawaii is so far away, right? It's so much work to get there and stuff. And that's still one of my favorite places so far because of the, the, the diving and stuff that we did there and the tuna and the the fishing and oh the fishing is so amazing and then the air rifle hunting stuff but but yeah this is so different this is so bushcrafty and the and so nice of course i don't think i'd want to be here during the summer from what i hear it's miserable hot so if you're wondering where the gator came from, that wasn't part of my adventure, that was part of somebody else's adventure, because they do offer gator hunts. And uh, we're not gonna do that this time, but they did hook me up with a piece of gator to go with my snapper, and that's what's for dinner. 
From where I live on the coast of Maine, it's about a 22 hour drive to Florida. And Joe helped me by building an upper shelf in the back to store all my stuff above where we're sleeping. All right, the back is all packed. Joey's little build of the platform halfway through. This stuff uh, is mostly sleeping bags and things and our clothes. So we're gonna sleep and truck camp our way down. Sparrow's never been to Florida, so she's coming with me so we can have some quality daddy-daughter time before I hit the bush alone. Are we gonna see alligators and snakes and all kinds of fun stuff? Let's go over to the lake and grab the slingshot and then we're on the road. Let's see. We got, we got a scale just in case we catch a monster. Slingshot, bank line, that should do it, I think. After a quick prayer for traveling mercies, we hit the road with the goal of getting as many miles on as far as we can get south so it's a little bit warmer before we go to bed for the night in the back of the truck. All signs of snow are gone and there's definitely no ice on anything. We're down here in Connecticut now. I think we passed the dump though. Oh, you smell that? Yeah. It stinks. What's it smell like? Rotten fish and something that farted. Like a skunk fart. Dead skunk. Dead skunk, dead skunk in the middle of the road, dead skunk. I'm constantly having wonderful adventures with my daughters, but up to this point, most of them have all been fairly close to home within the borders of Maine. I quickly realized how awesome this adventure was actually gonna be when I watched her experience a whole new world for the first time as we entered Bass Pro Shop. Uh, we thought we'd stop at Bass Pro Shop and get some goodies. Have you ever been in here before? No. Isn't it crazy how big I it is? I feel like that's gonna fall on us. Oh yeah, it's crazy, huh? All right, we bought a bunch of stuff. You got a big pillow for the ride. Mm -hmm. And I got a bunch of fishing stuff. And we got some sleeping mats. Time to hit the road again for a couple more miles oh. before we sleep. What? I just stepped in a puddle. You just splashed yourself? Drove till 10.30, made it to Pennsylvania. Sleeping in the back, Sparrow's still out. Stayed at Walmart, worked out pretty good. Time to get back on the road, we got 16 hours of driving. And then uh, we'll be at our first destination, which we don't even know what that is yet. There's your coffee, Sparrow. Have a great time. Yeah. I got my orange juice. We made it to Georgia, 10.30, sleeping in the back of the truck again, the rest up. Four hours left to go. Come on, Sparrow, rise and shine. Oh, wildlife. First sign of wildlife is a heron. You just need to take this in? I love herons. Aww. I love herons, they're one of my favorite birds. Right? They're just so majestic. Four hours to Crystal Springs. Get on the road again. All right, we have arrived at our first adventure. Let's go check it out. Let me see your face. <laughs> what? A little hot chocolate in Florida. We're stopping to camp. Still gonna sleep in the truck. We bought an official campsite so we could chill. Done. Ta da! You want some trout? Yeah, that'd be tasty. Trout. Ooh. Actually, I think my personally 
favorite kind of like freshwater fish. Well, this would be saltwater trout. Yeah, whatever. But <laughs> I, I mostly like crappy. They're my favorite. Mm. They're my favorite. They're really good. Here we go. Give this a guy a try. He says there's trout in here. I don't. Not really what I want. Sparrow went back to get the good baits. Sparrow and I spent three days exploring Florida and just having such an amazing time together. We gonna eat him? He's too small oh, to just eat. Kidding. I bet it wouldn't taste good anyway. We kept the devices off and sat around the fire at night and just talked about all our dreams and adventures that we wanted to have the next day or dreams and adventures for another trip another time. Shh. Am I ruining the moment Shh. by talking? Shh. Listen. Oh, this is probably my favorite part of, the, of every day, the night, because like, you can hear crickets. It's just calm. I call the first star. Another awesome night's sleep. This truck thing is so cool from Soft Topper. It turned the just sleeping in the back of the truck stealthily into having a whole bunch more space. You could just like, boom, super spacious zipper front we've just been we haven't actually like been using it we just go up inside like this to be in there and then uh you know climb in it gives us so much more space to be able to have room and be able to hang out and uh, now we got to pack it up have a quiet little morning together now we're off to go and see some gators and airport folk tour and things like that oh my goodness look at that one under the water. Yeah, I don't believe he's real. That's real. Oh, yeah, he's... Yes, he's moving his head up. Yo, anaconda, yeah. Uh, those snakes honestly love people. They And they're rarely hostile. So oh. I want one as a pet. Because they're so sweet. They're sweet to me. He's very pretty. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, he's so big. Yeah, he is. Hello, guys. You're eating a leaf instead of your food. Look at that. Now he's got him. Oh, I feel bad. Kind of he's just got him. There we go. Did you see the venom squirt? Let's him reload. The baby gators were super cute, and the quality of time we spent together was something neither of us is ever going to forget. After our three days of fun in the sun, we met up with our family. I don't have any footage of this because it was a special, warm, and kind of sad moment. We were saying goodbye to Grandma. She was up there in years, and we saw it coming, and it was her time to go home and be with the Lord. And I was fortunate enough to get to spend a little bit of special time with her this last summer when she came up to Maine for one last big adventure. And I took a break from my adventuring to take her for a spin on the pirate ship. And after another day or so of spending some time sharing fond memories with aunts and uncles and time with my mom and dad, I sent Sparrow back to Maine with Joey to begin my solo adventure. My first goal thus far was to catch some dinner from the ocean. It's Florida. I love fishing in the ocean. I couldn't come to Florida without catching something from the sea, so I headed out on this little walking bridge where other people were fishing, threw on a shrimp, and prayed for some dinner. Yes! Yes! Finally! Fish on! Ah! What do we got? A little grunt? <laughs> I couldn't tell if this first fish immediately was a mutton snapper or a lane snapper. They're fairly similar, but if it was a mutton, it definitely had to be 18 inches. So I erred on the side of caution and threw it back. There we 
we go. That's a nice little fish. Come on. Oh, something different. Something different. Ah, get it in. Or is it the same? Didn't catch a lot of fish, but the second one was a mangrove snapper and it was a keeper. That's a new species unlocked for me so I can hit the road with my dinner. Walk. And the good old picnic basket. So we don't quite have to eat on the ground at our prep station. Let's see. We got our cutting board. We found some hot sauce at a store, so I think I'm going to make kind of a, uh, instead of using my hot sauce, we'll use some swamp gator. We'll use some of that to go with some tomato and stuff to make kind of a quick salsa to go on top of our gator bites and snapper. It's going to be quite the feast. Red pepper flakes. And I got traditional gator sauce. Himalayan pink salt. Got our bushcraft chopper and we are ready to get our cook on. I'm gonna use some of Jay Seaman's catch and cook for the batter, just a light batter on it. All right, we'll whip up a simple salsa. I got some fresh Florida oranges, fresh Florida lemon, fresh Florida tomato, I don't know, red onion. Simple salsa for our fish and gator. Well, maybe half an onion's good. That's a little bit, that's a lot of onion. Tomato. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm going with it. I gotta get some of them seeds out though. Let's see. Oh, I hear my hear a mosquito. Where is it? Did you hear that? Putting up quite a sound. I wonder if he's in his uh, roosting spot. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give up while I'm ahead here. <laughs> get back to cooking. Man, it got dark quick. Florida being so flat, it was Bright as all get out like 15 minutes ago, like this. The camera's doing that. It's really not that bright. It looks more like, like, uh, here, I'll give you the reality of the look. No, not that. Here we go. I'm adjusting the uh, ISO so it matches the, this is what it looks like right now for me with my eyeballs, you know, uh, and I got 20-20, so it's, I'm not like dimming out. I'm just saying. Uh, but with the camera magic, we can make it more like that. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get some lights to finish the cook. Oh, he is right there. This is, I only got the 35 on, so he is like literally 15 feet behind me, just like watching me cook here. Hey, buddy, you are huge. You are huge. How's it going? What you doing? All right. Is, uh, you just do your thing, and uh, if I got any leftovers, I'll let you know. Wow. There's our oranges. Spritz the lemon up onto it. A little bit of the old Himalayan sea salt. There we go, a little bit of Ace's first cast, get that Cajun-y flavor into there. 
All right, so some of you are saying right now, like, that's lemon, and you're gonna put that on the snapper, and you said you'd never do lemon on fish, but technically it's lemon and salsa, which makes perfect sense. Lemon on fish, that doesn't make any sense at all. I'm sorry for those of you that like that. Uh, lemon belongs in lemonade. What? Is, is the chair too much? I... What can I say? I brought all my comfy stuff. Someday I'll be out somewhere doing a 30 day survival challenge again and it'll be all just some tools and some string and, and eating only what you can catch and cook. But today, you know, I didn't say that's what it was. So who says I can't have fun with all the goodies and all the gadgets and gizmos, right? Well, someday there's going to be an alone All-Stars. He's still here. Not right behind me, though. Where'd you go? Someday. Again, right when I say that. Someday. You missed your cue. What's up with that? I wonder if... Is this your tree? Like, am I under your tree? Is that what's going on? He's, he's saying, uh, we've heard enough about you being, you being on a loan back in the day. Well, I was just going to say simply that, like, someday there's going to be an alone All-Stars, and I'll have to go out there and be super primitive with ten items again. So, I'm not, I'm just having fun. I hope you guys are having fun when I bring you on these adventures. That's that's why we do it. All right, stirred it all up. Let's see if that tastes good. That's pretty good. That's a seriously different melody of flavors. Find a spot to reach the water. Rinse it all off. We got our gator. What are we gonna do with the gator? It's quite the piece of gator too that they gave me. Maybe I'll have some of that for kind of a big piece of gator. Not too huge, but uh, I do love gator and I haven't had any since I had some at the restaurant. So I think I'll cube it and fry it up and then we can have some for tomorrow too. For breakfast, have some gator breakfast tacos if I can't catch any breakfast. This is so cool. Traditionally, I believe the recipes for the snapper like this call for peanut oil, but I saw this grape seed oil 
and it says great for frying. You don't want olive oil, you want like something high temp. It doesn't seem to have any smell or flavor to it, which is what you want. It's either a flavorless oil or a high temp oil like peanut oil that you're trying to impart some flavor. The flavor is in our snapper and in our gator, so we don't want to impart any other flavors. We want the most base oil possible. Look at that, all crisped up. There we go, let's do the gator bites. Get these in there. It smells like some sort of fair food, like just the most delicious fried something or others that you could get. I hope I didn't overdo those. I'm trying to get them just right. They look pretty good. Oh, I think that's more than enough for me to eat in one meal. We got our salsa. Just going right on top of the whole mess. There we go. Gator, mangrove snapper right there, all fried up. That looks awesome. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for that one snapper of the legal size. And whatever is splashing around back there, maybe for breakfast. Bless this food to my body and bless my aim as we spend three days having adventures. Thank you for your beautiful creation to spend the day and to spend the time in the outdoors. In Jesus' name, amen. Mmm. All right, what do I try first? I mean, I, I haven't had gator in since like going to Blade Show years ago. I'm gonna try just straight gator. Like, mmm. Yep, it's everything I remember it being. That's so good. I'm trying to think of what to tell you it tastes like. Um. It's chewy, but it breaks right apart. Oh, it's all, it reminds me of crawfish. Not quite a lobster. Maybe a little bit lobster, but it it's, yeah, almost a little bit like lobster, but it's definitely a little more chewy, like goat, which is really good too. All right, got a little bit of tomato, a little bit of onion, a little bit of the orange. Mmm. And the crunchy. And the outside. And the, mm. That's the thing. That's the thing. How about the snapper? Mmm. I think that grapeseed oil, that's a good choice. Low flavor. The snapper tastes really good just fried in it. I think as far as snapper is concerned, I do like the peanut oil a little bit better, but not everybody can do peanut. Let's see, get, get some of our snapper scraped off here with a, a bit of the, oh, it just comes right off of the bone. A big old hunk of it with the salsa. Oh, I do have my spoon thing here. I could just. Come on, come on. Mm. Well, I have to feel, I have to say, something feels like it's missing. I've been feeling it this whole time. I came down to Florida. So I came down with Sparrow for my, um, well, just to spend time with Sparrow and have some daddy daughter kind of date time and um, we went and did all kinds of ventures um, 
But once I got down to Fort Pierce, that was kind of the point of our coming and it started the trip was the fact that it's my grandmother's memorial service, which was really sweet and I didn't film any of that kind of stuff uh, with the family and family time because my folks and stuff like that don't like to be on camera. And, well, it was my grandmother's uh, memorial service, but you might remember her from the pirate ship. She was out there with us for one little adventure. I picked her up at the dock and so I was really blessed to be able to have that last little bit of time with her that she was able to on her last uh, trip up the East Coast for the, you know, the summertime to enjoy a little bit of Maine and a little bit of Vermont and, and before my parents themselves moved out West. And uh, we had a great time and had a great laugh and she smiled and, and she, was, she was quite happy and, and it was just uh, quite a memory to be able to come down here with Sparrow and and to do that but now I sent Sparrow back home with Joey and uh, I'm here doing this part of it and, but there's still something missing missing the wife I would can't Florida isn't the same without her you know two years now we've done it together and weren't able to this time and man it's not the same it's leaving a little a little art ache in my heart hon missing you having having not having you here I'll see if I can bring you back some gator I gotta try this gator sauce. So swamp gator and then gator sauce. Gator swamp gator is the hot version. They said it says on the little label. And swamp gator is like the or swamp gator is the hot version, and gator sauce is the original. I feel like I can't quite have some gator bites with some oh, hot sauce. I love my hot sauce, the Fowler's Chipotle there, and uh, the Chipotle sauce we do and sell, but there's like three other hot sauces that I've found that are out there that are kind of the staples that are on my shelf. And, uh, oh, I'm just putting it on everything. I hope it's not too, too hot. I'll have to share that with you some guys someday. Some, maybe I can even get them and just put them on our website so that like a six pack of my favorite hot sauces because I've tried hundreds of hot sauces over the years and um, there's only so far I think f three four three or four that I like to keep around permanently and sometimes I'm in the mood for one and sometimes I'm in the mood for the other mm. Ooh, that one's a hot one that's good what's that got in it You know what I mean? Like, I don't really like, um, I like Tabasco, but I only like Tabasco on chili or Sriracha on chili. I don't really like them on much of anything else. Um, I like my Chipotle on just about everything, except for when I don't like it. And then sometimes then I like something hotter. I guess it must be the red habanero pepper that gets that heat in this one. That is really good. I think I'm going to try the uh, the plain one though. I might have one more to add to my add to my forever use one. The other one that's in my forever use is that uh, one that Ace and I found. And I haven't bought another bottle of it, but I really liked the chocolate, um, which isn't chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's a type of pepper. The uh, chocolate habanero or something like that. I want to figure out how to grow that because that thing was so delicious. Mmm. 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 They're just plain gator sauce. Hot, delicious. The spicier one, I like too. I like better, I think, actually. I wonder if I fried it enough I can eat the fish brain. I think I fried it enough I can eat the fish brain. No, yeah, it's too tough. Oh. Well, that was epic. I'm going to sit by the fire for a little bit. 
and then climb into bed and dream about tomorrow's adventures and try to sleep. I'm so excited. All right, in for the night. I uh, went did a little exploring and uh, managed to find uh, a um, armadillo. Uh, and then I went by the river and I found, uh, saw some tilapia. I don't know if I got that on camera though. It went, they off pretty quick. So you gotta kinda like synchronize your, you know, finding them and if you're to take a shot at it. But the gar, I found a bunch of those and about a foot and a half. Maybe one of them was like two feet long and uh, good size. And I also saw, I think there was a catfish out in the middle. So it's a beautiful place. So many neat things. I love going out at night and like exploring somewhere like this because like the animal trails seem like so much more visible. Like uh, like the boar trails and the other animals that they make, the trails, game trails. You know, you, you just, they, they're somewhere, you just follow them so easily through the woods. It's like during the daytime, if you're just out traipsing around, it's like you, you end up pushing through brush but at night you just see the corridors and the pathways and the tunnels and you just crouch down a little bit and all of a sudden the whole new world opens up to you to be able to move through a place and and explore and stuff i didn't go very far tonight just uh you know a couple hundred feet from right here around the circle Let's explore a little bit and uh just beautiful place so so i'm gonna get some sleep i'll see you guys in the next episode i hope you tune in Tons of adventures to go. We'll uh, see you there. Fowler out. One miserable fly in here. Alright, got him. Ugh, smashed him onto my Bible and stuff. Ugh. Ugh, there's a lot of... Guts for one fly, yeah.